We're in America's heartland, Kansas City, Missouri, inside the Sprint Center. It's time for Big Three basketball as Three's Company takes on Bivouac. Three's Company in the orange, Bivouac in the white, and they go to Drew Gooden. And his shot missed by Dijon Thompson, but they get the follow up and he lays it in. First two points of the game. And you know, Jim, no one has started better than Bivouac. They average at least a six point lead at the half every game. They've gone into the half twice with double digit points. Well, and what changes? That's the question. Because if you're Reggie Theus, you're talking to your team like, okay, what are we doing to see a long jump shot by Josh Smith? In the second half, that causes us to lose momentum. Because in the first half, they look unstoppable. Here's Drew Gooden. He loves to shoot the three. Knocks it down. Drew Gooden knocks down the three. Welcome back. To put the ball on the deck and drive. Thompson misses the layup. Josh Smith follows it right up and in. Didn't have to take it back. And so Bivouac finally on the board. Near steel, Max Seal lays it in. Here's Anthony Morrow. Misses that corner three. Here's Gooden. Don't give him space. Cash money through Gooden. Good job. Right. <laughs> sure he <can. laughs> He slid him that 20. Oh, look at that time. And CJ Leslie rocks the rim. And that's how you get back in the game. A lot of times, you know, you want to quickly get out and try to knock down some three-point shots. But if you're Reggie Theus, you want to get easy layups to kind of get a rhythm going. And excellent read back door by Leslie to finish inside. Well, here's Andre Emmett now getting his first action. That pass is stolen. Morrow knocks down the easy jumper for Bivouac. That defense creates offense and right there. When you turn it over in a tight space, now quickly you're able to take advantage of it numbers-wise. You're the defensive team because now offensively you're right near the basket. Andre Emmett scored 36 points the last two games. Comes up a little short there. Here's Anthony Morrow. Good ball fake. One dribble, pull up, and rolls in. And here comes Bivouac. Andre Emmett for three. Yes. Three's company is really shooting the three ball well. We're getting high quality shots. See, the ball is not sticking to one side of the court if somebody's open. The ball is in their hands and able to step up. We're talking about step up. Josh Smith knocks down a triple. Here's Morrow. Drives right. Mm. See that, creates a little space. You see that, you see that shoulder <laughs> right into the chest. Huh? That's why I said creates yeah. a little space. <laughs> Three-point lead now for three's company. You, you just call that a savvy veteran move. That's, that's what that is. Oh, good time. Andre Emmett to Jason Maxiel. He'll look to complete the three-point play. Knocks down his fifth point of the game. Morrow clears it for Bivouac. C.J. Leslie spins. And Emmett lays it up and in. Working on Smith. Between the legs, crossover. Oh my, Andre Emmett! A bucket, we go to the half. Here's Emmett. Step back, got it! And just like that, he knocks down the three. Emmett with 10 points. Off the bench, mind you. And three's company with a 13 point lead here at the half. Two. Three's company. One and three. And both teams come out with a different lineup. Sean Williams and Deion Glover. Dante Jones spins. Deion Glover reaches in. They'll call the foul. One and three. Right, it's a lot tougher, too, B, as you see Morrow right there. Drew Gooden is getting ready to check back in for Three's Company. Josh Smith misses that three. Now keep in mind, early with Three's Company, it was a three-point shooting, but they were also getting layers. Okay, now we're not seeing that same attention to detail, even though Emmett knocked down that shot. What got them those open opportunities was that Max Hill was getting inside, you know, being able to get easy shots. Andre Emmett now in double figures. 
Here's Morrow for four. Yes! All right, Anthony Morrow knocks down the four. That's when I would get it down to Max Hill, see if he can get something on the block of drive to the basket like Emmett just did right yep. there. And he brings, kisses it off the glass. The lead remains 12 for three's company. First team to 50, you win. Maxiel comes up with the steal. Hey, and one. And one, Andre Emmett. But he's big and strong and can knock down the jump shot, but he can finish through contact once he gets to the basket. Oh, CJ Leslie shot blocked by Drew Gooden. And Maxiel fouled by Leslie. He's averaging seven points a game here for three's company, and he misses another free throw. That's when you just got to take advantage of it when you're at the free throw line and see another quick shot. Now Leslie working on Maxio. Smith spins in the lane, left hand, no. And that one's on C.J. Leslie. He pushed Maxio out the way and grabbed that board. Yeah. Got it. You have to make an adjustment as a player. If you're not hitting that shot, quite simply, sometimes you turn it down to get a better shot, a better rhythm shot. You know, Three's company, six of ten from three, but there's one of their last five where they were perfect from three in the first half. Sean Williams open for three. He can't hit. Leslie mm, challenged at the lane, but follows it up. Here's Emmett. Spins, lost it. Williams lays it in, and here comes Bibway. Lead is now just 11. Here's Drew. Reach in and foul of your free throw bang. and get that basketball. Get the ball back and why not drive it again? Why not put the onus on the official to have to call a foul? Get yourself back to the free throw line, a possible three-point play if you can finish inside. Three's company, nine points away from victory. Emmett lays it in. So it really turned into a four-point play for them. Yep. And that's the strategy you have to employ if you're a coach. Figure out ways to get your team in a penalty a lot sooner so you can take advantage of being able to retain possession. Here's Emmett. And he throws it away to Josh Smith. Looking for their second of the season. Josh Smith bangs in. The free throw. <laughs> Nearly stolen by Smith, but he fouled. But why? I mean, Josh didn't need to do that. I mean, Max Hill wasn't going to, it's not going to beat you. If, if Even if he gets the ball cleanly above the three point line, that's where you want him to be. Now you give him an opportunity on not so smart of a play to get to the free throw line for an easy two. Eight points for Three's Company have come from the free throw line, and now they're just five points away from victory in their second of the season. Emmett. Pull back. Got it. Andre Emmett heating up. He's the game high score. He can knock down the three as an inner. Uh, intermediate game where he can pull up off the dribble. And then he's strong enough <laughs> to get inside. And how about Max Seal? Jason Max Seal. Not today, partner. Mm -mm. Coming from the weak side, instead of staying married, backside help, showing some of that athleticism right there. Here's Leslie for three. Too strong. So Three's company can win it with a three. Emmett, step back for the win. Too strong and dunked home by Josh Smith. And two of the best coaches yes, in absolutely. the league. Here's Emmett. That one's short, got his own rebound. 
Dante Jones, ball fake. Goes up in the land of trees. Great D by Max Hill right there, but oh, Leslie spins the other way, and he'll go to the line. And I mean, Max Hill cut him off at the baseline. I mean, but Leslie able to pirouette the other way and create some space. But Max Hill showing that he can move his feet right there. Great cutoff, but Leslie didn't give up on the play. Knocks down the free throw. That cuts the lead to 13. Now see if Josh Smith and Bivouac can chip away. Mm, here's Smith. Nice, he'll give him room too. If you go take the jump shot, he's telling Josh, go ahead and take it. Leslie follows up. Oh, he missed, missed it. Play, uh, Here's Emmett. He can win it with a three. The kick out. Dante Jones for the win. Yes! Dante Jones wins it for Three's Company. And they have their second victory of the season. And Bitwack falls under 500 at two and three.